Hey guys, welcome again for Gate Kids Online. We are so excited to have you guys with us today because it's a very, very special day. We're talking about the missing piece because it's Easter! Easter! What? What? <laughs> On Earth. Make shock! I'm gonna have to clean all this up later. But it's Easter. <sighs> but it's Easter. We Resurrection have... Sunday. It is Resurrection Sunday. Sunday, uh, we're gonna have so much fun talking about the missing piece today because Jesus is the missing piece in our lives. But we got to learn our Bible story today, and we've got a couple ladies that are gonna teach oh, it. Oh boy! I think they're pretty funny. We're gonna learn from Gertie and, and Betty. Betty. Southern Belle and uh, and whatever that other one is. The I don't New know. Yorker. The New Yorker. I don't know. Four dollar. Four dollar. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's so so funny. But we also this week we also have our what you gotta know from another new face. Verb. Yep. Verb. We're gonna hear the word from verb. Mm -hmm. 
What you gotta know? Hey kids, what you gotta know? What do you gotta know? What you gotta know? What do you gotta know? This is Burb with the word. That's God's word. And man, we're here to have fun today. We're talking about Jesus is the missing piece. And I don't mean Reese's Pieces, though they are very tasty and yummy for your tummy. Hey, I just want to let you guys know Jesus is the missing piece. And man, when you think about the missing piece, it's not like the missing link or anything like that. It's like there's friends, there's school, there's homework, and video games. You got to have video games. Oh, oh, you got to have the video games. So wonderful. But I want you guys to remember that Jesus is the centerpiece. You know, like right in here, like sometimes there's a part of you that seems like it's missing and it's like right in here and it just opens all the way up and you're like, well, how do I get back to this part? That's Jesus being that centerpiece right there for you. And remember, if anyone asks you, what do you got to know? Remember, Jesus is the missing piece. That's Jesus is the missing piece. And this is Burr with the word that's God's word. Uh, wait, go, go this way. And that was the word from verb. Now, that means anytime somebody asks you what you got to know, you tell them Jesus is the missing piece. Jesus is the missing piece. All right, kids, and now for our power verse for the day. It's coming out of Matthew 25 or 28 and 5. The angel said, you are looking for Jesus. He isn't here. He has been raised from the dead. That's such a great power verse. I want to see how loud they can get. You think they can get super, super loud? I think they can get pretty super loud. All right, let's see. Did say, you hear him last week? I, saw, I heard him last week, and I was actually at home last week listening to it. And I heard him from my house. It, like, shook the earth. It was loud. It was loud. So let's see if they can get just as loud this week. All right, let's do it again, kids. Our power verse is Matthew 28 and 5. The angel said, you are looking for Jesus. He isn't here. He has been raised from the dead. Now, I heard a little, I felt a little bit of a rumble and heard a little bit of a whisper uh, from here in the studio this week. I think they can do it just a little bit louder. All right, kids, I need you to stand up off your sofa, get, off get up feet. on your feet, get on your feet, let's jump, let's shout, let's scream, and let's give God some praise. So our power verse on the count of three is coming out of Matthew 28 and 5. One, two, three. The angel said, you're looking for Jesus. He isn't here. He has been raised from the dead. Whew. What do you think one, about that? That one was loud. It kind of hurt my ears a that little bit. That was fire. That one, that one was pretty good. I ain't going to lie. Uh, but, guys, that's a wonderful power verse. We want you guys to remember that this week as you go about your, the, your week this week. We are going to get started in our lesson for today entitled The Missing Piece. The what? The Missing Piece. My man. Hey, guys, today we're talking about The Missing Piece. Now, how many of you guys at home have ever put together a puzzle? Maybe it was a hundred piece puzzle, a thousand piece puzzle, maybe a five thousand piece puzzle. I remember growing up with my mom, my dad, my brothers, my sister, we'd all get around in the living room and we'd put together all of our favorite puzzles. And the hardest part about it was when we had so many pieces and then you need to get down to it. And then maybe at the very, very end, as you put the pieces all together, you get all the way down until there was almost no piece left and then you realize hold up there's there's a piece missing who lost the piece did it fall under the couch did it fall in like in somebody's lap did somebody kick it across the floor did it fall in mom's coffee i don't know where the missing piece went but just like that in each in every one of our lives every life has a missing piece Every life has a piece that's missing. There's something in our hearts, there's something in our lives that's, that's missing. We begin to wonder where this emptiness, this hole that's inside of our lives, where, what is it? Where is it? How do we fill this? And as we're sitting at home or as we go to school, we begin, we're trying to fill this emptiness that is inside of our hearts. And different people try to fill different things Fill that void with something different. P 
People try many different things to fill the emptiness that we find inside of our hearts. I don't know about you boys and girls, but I know some of my friends when I was growing up in school, they thought that if they made all the money that they possibly can, if they became millionaires, if they've got, if they worked a business, they had their own business and they started it up and they begin to make all of this money, they thought that the money could fill the empty piece in their lives. But at the end of the day, the money was not, it wasn't the right fit. It, it, it didn't fit inside that missing piece in their lives. It didn't fill the emptiness in their lives. It didn't fill that empty void. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when I'm looking for a missing piece, I find a piece that looks similar and I put it on there and I take like a hammer and I'm like, I've got to get this piece to fit. It's going to fit. But the more and more I tried, the more and more I just ended up destroying the puzzle. I ended up breaking up the puzzle in the process. And that happens with us sometimes. We try to take something and we try to fill the void in our lives with all of these different things. I don't know about you guys, but some people, they think that if they've got all of the friends, that maybe you know what, it's people. I need people in my life that are going to fill the void. And you know, it's a good thing to have friends. It's a good thing to have people around you. But that empty hole in your life, those friends aren't going to fill that void. Some people, they think, you know, if I have the most followers I possibly can on Instagram, if I have the most friends on Facebook, or maybe I have the most Twitch people that are watching me on my Twitch channel and all my friends that play Fortnite with me, I'm going to get all of these friends. I'm going to have hundreds of friends, thousands of friends, because all of the friends that I have, they're going to be able to fill that empty void in, in my life. But what we find out is that even those people, even those things, there's still an emptiness inside. It doesn't matter how many friends they end up getting, there's they're still a hole. There's still something missing. There's still a missing piece inside each and every one of their lives that they're not complete. They still need something. They're still hurting. They're still aching to fill that emptiness, to fill that void. And today, today is a, a beautiful day. Today is a day that we call Easter. And Easter is a time of the year that we get to celebrate because John 3.16 says that for God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And we know him, and gay kids, we know him as Jesus. And Jesus, he comes and he came and he saw each and every one of us in our broken places. He saw each and every one of us with that empty hole in our lives. And Jesus and God, they saw us and they said, you know what? I want to fill that hole. So God sent his son to, to come and he sent his son so that he could die on a cross for each and every one of our sins. Because we sin, we, we, we sin, we separated ourselves from God, but we we, we, we didn't know what to do. We had an empty hole in our lives, but Jesus came and he died on a cross. And when he died on a cross, he did so for all of our sins, for every bad thing that we were ever gonna do. And he stayed, he, he died, he stayed in the grave for three days. And you know, we celebrate that victory that Jesus died on the cross, but the greatest thing ever, the greatest thing ever is that three days later, Jesus came out of the grave and he lives and he lives so that each and every one of us can say you know what Jesus I want to ask you into my heart I want you to be the missing piece that fills the void that fills the hole inside of my life that comes into my life and makes me complete just like this puzzle that I've got right here so guys I don't know what's going on in each and every one of your guys' lives. I don't know what all the different things you may have done to try to fill that emptiness, fill that void inside of your lives. But what I wanna tell you guys today is I want to tell you that Jesus is the missing piece. He's the missing piece in your life. He's the very thing that's there to fill that hole, that emptiness that you feel. That's the very thing to fill that void is Jesus. So I want to pray with you guys. I want to pray with each and every one of you guys at home. 
And I want to pray for you guys that Jesus be the center. He be the very, very center of your life. And so I want to pray with you guys. But if you guys are at home and maybe you're wondering, you know what, Pastor Zach, I've got an empty void in my life. There's an emptiness in my life and I've not asked Jesus to come in and fill it. If that's you, what I want you to do, wherever you are, I want you to raise your hand. I know you're at home, but I want you guys to raise your hand. And I want you to go tell mom, go tell dad, say, mom, dad, I want to pray a prayer. I want to ask Jesus into my heart. I want to ask Jesus into my life. I'm going to pray with you guys real quick. So I want everybody to gather together. Grab your mom, grab your dad, gather together, and I want you guys to pray with me. Are you ready? All right, bow your heads, close your eyes. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming down and dying on a cross for my sins. And Lord, I thank you for coming out of the tomb three days later. And Jesus, I know that there is an emptiness inside of my heart. So right now, Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart to wash me clean of all of my sins and to make me a complete masterpiece. In Jesus' name, amen. If you guys prayed that prayer, if that was your first time praying that prayer, then we want to hear from you. We want to talk to you guys. So please have your mom, have your dad. They can call us up at the church. They can email us at gatekids at thegatechurch.tv. Or if you guys are watching this online on Facebook, you guys can mention in the comments, you say, my kid answered that prayer. Uh, and we want to get a hold of you guys. We want to talk to you. Uh, it's a great day uh, to be here. It's a wonderful time to be able to talk with you guys on Easter Sunday. Um, we love you guys, and we can't wait to talk to you again. Hey guys, thanks for joining us once again for another episode of Gate Kids Online. Uh, I've got an entire Gate Kids Online staff here. Uh, we wanted to wish you guys a happy Easter, a happy Resurrection Day. Um, and one thing we want you guys to do is today we are uh, worshiping with our parents. So stay tuned, stick with your mom and dad. We want you guys to worship with your mom and dad and hear what Bishop has to say. Um, but before we go, our team wants to pray for you guys on this very, very special day. Uh, so we're going to pray with you real quick uh, and then we'll get going. Uh, Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for each and every one of the kids, God, that are watching this. God, I pray for each and every one of their families. God, I pray for peace and I pray for wholeness uh, in each and every one of their lives, God. For all of those kids that prayed our prayer earlier today, God, Lord, I thank you for what you're going to do in their lives, God. I pray that you speak to them this week, God, and I pray that they hear from you. Uh, and Lord, I pray that we have a wonderful rest of our day, God. This is a wonderful, fantastic Easter as we remember uh, who you are and what you did in each and every one of our lives, God. That we remember that you are the missing piece in our lives. Uh, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. Happy, Happy Easter, guys. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye. See you guys tomorrow at 9.30 for Shouts from the Couch.